Welcome back to another video. Have you ever wondered how computers understand and process large amounts of natural language data? Well, what if I told you there is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on giving computers the ability to understand text and words in the same way as humans can? This field of artificial intelligence is known as natural language processing. And one of the first steps that you do in any natural language processing task is to tokenize the text data. So in this video, I am going to explain about tokenization and demonstrate using Python code how to perform tokenization. If you are new in the field of natural language processing and want to get more ideas about natural language processing, you can check out my video on this topic. I will add a link to this video in the description down below. Before moving forward, I kindly request you to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notification to stay updated each time I post a new video. Stay tuned. What is tokenization? To put it in simple words, tokenization is the process of splitting the text data into smaller chunks of words or sentences. If the text data is split into smaller sentences, then it is known as sentence tokenization. And if the text data is split into smaller words, then it is known as word tokenization. This is done because the meaning of the sentence is obtained by words present in it. So once we analyze the text by obtaining the list of words, we can gain more insights into the text by finding out more important words in the text or document by identifying its word count or word frequency. Now that we have an idea of tokenization, let us now look at the different tokenization techniques by which we can perform tokenization on the text data. So in this video, we are going to look at four different methods by which you can perform tokenization. So let's head over to Jupyter Notebook. The simplest way to perform tokenization on text data is by using Python's built-in split function. The split function splits the text into tokens based on a specified separator. And by default, the split function breaks the string at each space. So let's check it out. So let's first create a text to tokenize. So now that we have our text data, let's use the split function to tokenize the text. So tokens will be text dot split. Note that here we are not specifying anything to be used as a separator. So by default, the white spaces will be used as the separator. So now let's see the token so that we can print it. And we can see that the split function does a decent job by splitting the text data into different words. However, it failed to separate out the punctuations as the split method does not consider punctuations as separate tokens. Now let's try sentence tokenizing the about text by specifying the separator for the split function. So I'm copying the same code and I'm specifying a separator over here and let's print it. And as you can see, the text is now split into different sentences. Next, we are going to look at tokenization using the NLTK library. NLTK stands for Natural Language Toolkit and it is a widely used Python library for natural language processing. NLTK has a word tokenized module for performing word tokenization and a sentence tokenization module for performing sentence tokenization. So let's import the NLTK library and load the sentence tokenizer in word tokenizer import NLTK and from NLTK import word tokenizer word tokenize and sentence tokenize so first let's perform word tokenization on the text data so word tokens will be word tokenize our text data and now let's print the tokens, word tokens. And as we can see, the NLTK tokenizer considers punctuations as separate tokens. This is highly helpful when we are performing text processing on the data. Now let's perform sentence tokenization on the text data. We're going to sentence tokenize the text data. So send tokenize 
and then let's pass in the text data and now let's print the tokens and as we can see the text has been split into different sentences now let's look at tokenization using another library spacey spacey supports a variety of language models and since we are going to use the english model let's go ahead and load the english library now spacey is not installed you can install spacey by following the commands on the screen now let's import the english language Now let's load the English tokenizer. Now let's process our data using the tokenizer. So first we'll do word tokenizing. Now let's initialize an array to store the tokens. So I'm creating an empty array called word token list. Now let's print our tokenized text using a for loop. Now let's print it. And as we can see, Spacey does a good job of tokenizing the text data and it even splits the words like don't into two separate words. Now we can also use Spacey to perform sentence tokenization on our text data. But for doing sentence tokenization, we need to add the sentenceizer component as a pipeline. This is because the sentence tokenization using Spacey consists of tokenizer, tagger, parser and entity recognizer to determine how the sentence will be split. So first let's load the English tokenizer as before. Now let's add the sentence as a component as a pipeline. Now if you're wondering what a sentence as is, it is a simple pipeline component in Spacey that allows custom sentence boundary detection logic. This is to easily identify where the sentence will be split. Now let's pass in the text data. Now let's initialize an array to store the tokens as before. Now let's print the tokenized text using a for loop. And let's print it. Now as we can see the text has been broken down into different sentences. Next let's look at tokenization using one more library that is Keras. You might have probably heard of Keras library as it is one of the most popular deep learning frameworks. If you haven't already installed Keras library, you can install it using the pip install Keras code as shown on the screen. To perform tokenization using Keras, let's import the required package from Keras library. So from keras.preprocessing, now let's pass in our data. Now let's print the result. As we can see, it splits the text data into individual tokens. And also, we can see that all the uppercase characters are converted into lowercase. Now this feature will be very much helpful when you are working on NLP projects. Now let's look at how to perform sentence tokenization using Keras.
and let's print the results as we can see the text data has been split into different sentences now that we have discussed four different methods by which you can perform tokenization which method would you opt to perform tokenization in your next nlp project is it the default split function or nltk or spacey or keras let me know your thoughts in the comment section below that concludes this video if you like my content please leave a like and hit the subscribe button as it encourages me to make more videos thank you for watching and see you in the next video